Um, not too long ago, I bought a, a BSA Super 10 online from a guy, and uh, it came, he had advertised it as being set up for field target use, and uh, so I was going to use this one for field target. Uh, I have several BSA Super 10s. I'm generally very happy with them, and uh, they, they seem to be very accurate, and uh, uh, so I thought I'd try one out for field target. And uh, in this case, uh, it was basically as it was advertised, it came with a scope and a single shot tray. Uh, you can see it's been, uh, the material here has been removed so that you can load it a little easier. That's probably more than I would have taken out, but uh, this is a Mark III, by the way. Came with the walnut stock and uh, has the metal. Uh, lug there. So I filled up a, one of the bottles to 3200 PSI uh, and I just before I even uh, took it outside I ran some shots across the chronograph and they ended up my first 10 shots were um, about 1,030 feet per second for about 25 foot-pounds so that's over the limit that's allowed uh, in our field target match. Uh, I also uh, took a look at the uh, rest of the shot string and I had, uh, it went from 1,030 feet per second in the first 10 shots. Shot 15 was 1,019, shot 20 was 1,000, and then it just dropped off uh, big time. So I'm not getting a lot of usable shots the way this regular is, regulator is set up. And I had considered um, doing the adjusting here uh, within the uh, hammer tension, uh, but I thought I would test the regulator. And I do have a uh, test fixture here that I bought from, uh, I ordered it and had it made for me by Joe Corrick up in Washington State. And uh, so I've got that. I've got several, like I say, BSA Super 10s. And uh, so I got tired of not being able to uh, to see what kind of uh, pressure I was getting from the regulator into the valve. Uh, and, and normally I would just go by, you know, blind feel and, and get it working again, but you really don't have any idea where you're at. Uh, and so I, ha I had uh, Joe make one of these regulator testers for me. Now I've got our uh, regulator tester here onto the regulator. What I'm going to do is screw a bottle into this end and then we'll see what kind of pressure we're getting from the regulator into the valve. And uh, I'll get that set up and we'll get this, uh, get this test going. Okay, we've got the regulator set up here. You can see it's got the, um, the bottle, uh, which I just filled to 3200 PSI going into the regulator. The output of the regulator uh, is on the other end and you can Get that lined up there. You can see the dial. The regulator is showing the valve about 2,500 psi, which is awful hot, and that tends to explain why our uh, velocity on the Crossman Premier Heavies was at 1,030 feet per second, and uh, and then dropped off uh, very quickly off the regulator. Uh, and the way that this tester works, basically, you just let a little air out and see what happens. So. Uh, we're up around 23, 24, 2,500 PSI. And so this regulator is going to need some work to uh, bring it down uh, to a level that would be more typical. I'm guessing I can get it down somewhere in the neighborhood of um, 15, 16, 1,700 PSI would be more than enough for a uh, field target. And we should get a lot more shots. Uh, put the velocity of that uh, Crossman Premier, Premier Heavy out at about uh, oh, less than 20 foot-pounds, say 17 foot-pounds, something like that. Uh, velocity around 900 feet per second would be uh, some targets that we can work with. And, I, and like I say, I think I can rebuild this regulator to get it down to um, uh, probably 1,600 PSI would be a, a good place to, uh, to put it. And then from that point on, we can work with the hammers hammer tension and hammer spring to uh, fine tune it from that. So that's it for uh, today. I'll um, 
go ahead and put this up on the video when I get around to rebuilding the, uh, the regulator here. Uh, and so I'll pull it apart, we'll take a look at it, uh, see where it's at as far as uh, how it's set, and then uh, make some adjustments and try and bring that pressure down to where it works uh, consistently around 1600 PSI. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and check back often as we expect to have uh, the rest of the videos up fairly soon.